turn your right foot slightly out, settle into your right foot, place heel, and then move forwards and the arms go left and right. Sitting back, this is a pelvic tilt. Allow that to work and just allow the chest to relax. So you go forwards, body will turn slightly to your left, towards your left knee, assuming that's the one that's forward, and then towards your right knee. So just turn, and when you do that, you'll find that that the joint closes. So as you turn towards your right knee, the left joint here will open. And as you move forwards onto the front leg, this joint now will close, but this one should open and then reverse it. So what we're actually doing is working on the lymphatic system of the body when you do this, because you have groups of lymph nodes in your pelvis and in the armpits. Those are the main places. And so we're working those. So you need your lymphatic system in the body, which clears out you know, dead cells and it's the water system in your body. So it flushes out the rubbish in the body and helps it to move towards the liver, the kidneys, and we need to pump it. So we, if you're conscious about turning your body towards your left knee and now towards your right knee, and you feel those joints closing just gently you don't have to squeeze really hard but in effect all the way to the back foot release the front foot change feet in effect all you're doing here is you're making that system squeeze on the right leg now if that's the one you've got forwards and now the left squeeze on this side and then on the left And as you sit back, it's a very gentle pull up at the front there, pel pubic bone lifting towards your tummy button. And as the pubic bone lifts towards the tummy button on the sit back, you completely relax the small of your back. So it feels like it undoes and lengthens. So in Alexander technique, they use the word lengthening rather than stretching. Because stretching is something that you do. Lengthening is something that is done. As far as breathing goes with this, just breathe whatever's good for you, really. You could, if you want to, if you want to breathe in as you go forwards and out as you go back or the other way around, that's fine. On the other hand, you don't have to tie it to that. When you start trying to tie the breath to certain movements, it can be a stress situation because you're attempting to make something happen that isn't really ready to happen, perhaps. Sometimes it'll work absolutely fine. You won't have to work at it at all. It'll feel quite natural. You'll find yourself just doing what you need to do. But occasionally, especially if you're going very slowly, you can end up creating stress in the body as a result of forcing a breath to fit a certain pattern of movement. So you have to be a little bit careful of that. So all the way to your back foot and release the front and bring your foot in. <laughs> 